you and I, we connected last year and uh, we just kind of struck up this, this friendship. And, and I told you before we actually, you know, got going, it's like, I, I said, you know, I don't know if it's that I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you or I'm just, I, I'm, I'm proud of the, the friendship that me and you have because we come from way different backgrounds. Um, and the, just the relationship that me and you will pick up, we'll text, we'll say something, we'll do something or whatever. And um, just being able to watch you interact with the, the young ones that you interact with. And then you're able to, go out and get the information and then take it back to those kids uh, that you work with daily. And you got high school students, whether it's softball or baseball, that are able to use you as almost like conduit from the ones that have made it, the ones that have the information, you're learning it so you can teach it and continue to grow the game. I know analytics and numbers and metrics are a big part of the game, but you and I both are from that old school mentality of, if I can't understand those numbers, I can't teach it and be able to help these, the parents and the athletes understand that. So as we're starting to develop that into having a good relationship between what I see and what I feel and what the numbers say, how big of a part is that becoming in youth sports as far as measuring and, and being able to kind of say, hey, this is what you saw. This is what you felt. This is what the numbers are showing. So this is where we're at. This is what we can change. And this is where we're, we're good at. Well, I, I don't have a lot of technology in my facility. Um, if parents come in and they have personal blast or they have personal diamond kinetics or whatnot, uh, we just don't have the resources for that currently. Um, so all of mine is based on I do exit speed off a of tee. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the ability to do exit speed off a of thrown ball. Um, but most of mine is sound and sight yeah. um, and, and finding barrels. Yeah. Now, for the kids that do have access to the numbers, one of the things that I stress a whole lot is don't go chasing numbers. Yeah. The, the, the information is good if it is used properly. But if we're just out there swinging to try to develop a higher exit speed, you're probably not going to get those results that you want nearly as quickly because you're not paying attention to how the body's moving effectively, efficiently, um, those types of things. So I, in my personal opinion, the fundamental base needs to come before we start putting numbers to it. Yeah. Now, if you're talking about high school, you know, varsity level guys and girls that hopefully if they're playing varsity, they're mechanically sound, they have a good foundation, they have a solid approach, they understand how to make adjustments. They understand what their body's feeling. Okay. Now, if you want all of this, we can break it down. Some players don't want that. And right. then some players want every freaking decimal point you can give them, <laughs> you, you know, and you have to kind of, with those type players, you really have to find that balancing act. Be like, look, man, I know that these are the numbers that are optimal. This is where you are. Let's develop a plan to get there. But simply, like I said, chasing certain numbers, I think, loses sight of what hitting really is, which is very fluid, very adjustable, and ever-changing. Um, so it, it, it's, it's a balancing act. It really yeah. is. And there's, and there's so much information, you know, it's, and, you know, kind of segue into what we're going to talk about with parents and pressure and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I think parents get caught up in the numbers more so especially like if you're talking like under 13 dude those numbers are for the parents those kids a very small majority they ain't gonna care it's not like they're walking into their you know fifth grade classroom going hey man my uh, panda ball speed is you know 1.5 seconds and my exit speed and my launch angle are blah 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 like that's not happening yeah. you know but dad walking into his business office he's oh, dude my fifth grader just did this 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 Yep. So wh what are we really doing it for? Are we doing it for parents to talk about or are we doing it for the kid to truly get better at the young ages? Yep.